And away they go from the 1,400 metre marker. Not a bad beginning this one for the field of this size. To give them a chance to settle down for a leader, Luck Dragon is right there shortly after the start. Gregorian Chant with the white cap. And Captain at Sea, that's on the outside of runners. The white blinkers of Count Philip is back in fourth position. Basket Park is the grey, then alone at last. A Galtero's on the outside of runners. Aerial Combat, that gives him about six or le seven lengths start. Grasshopper, that's in the red silks. Angel Landing is further back in the run. Accelerate at this stage, that gives him about eight or nine lengths start as they approach the 700 metre marker. Further back in the field is Oro Negro. Rowdy turning to the home stretch now, and the leader is Gregorian Chand. Luck Dragons in the green, the white blinkers of Captain at Sea. Count Philip is towards the middle of the track, alone at last on the inside. Chester goes in for a run. Towards the outside of that one is Grasshopper. But Gregorian Chand clears away by two or three at the 300 metre. Captain at Sea is trying to rally. Down the inside, Angel Landing. Running on also Cassius King. Accelerate on the outside but Gregorian Chant still clear by three or four and it's Gregorian Chant captain at sea down the inside Angel Landing running on late but it's going to go to Gregorian Chant the second place will go to Angel Landing the third place to captain at sea and fourth perhaps Jester Number 11, and it's Gregorian Chant, equipped with the blinkers, I must say, went down the best that I've seen him go down to the start. I remember on early occasions I did say at Gravel that he didn't stride out well, and that's when he got scratched. On this time out, the best I've seen him go to the start, blinkers equipped, and took the lead shortly after the start and wins it by three and a half to four. Second, we'll go to number three, Angel Landing. Third to number five, Captain at Sea. The fourth position goes to number 10, and that is Chester. Luck Dragons further back in the run. Grasshopper, Cassius King, Accelerate, and then came Aerial Combat, and then Oren Negro, Alone at Last, Galtero, and then came Explosive Rock. As you look at the head-on, and the winner is clear with the white cap. It ends up the toad favourite, number 11, Gregorian Chant. It pays 260 the win, one round the plays. The runner-up, number three, pays 9.30 the place, 47 round the win. And number five, Captain at Sea, that takes the third position. That goes missing from the bipod. Until the running of the second starts off the place accumulator, the bipod here shows 260,000. Every meeting that bipod pool is climbing until the second race back to the studio. Well, the son of Trippy called Gregorian Chant has come through to open up the meeting. He's had two runs in the province and just chatting to Barbara off air. The blinkers seem to have helped him in a big way today and uh, he won very comfortably today, Barbara. Yes, yeah, so he's always been consistent. Um, Anthony spoke to us the other day and said maybe we should put the blinkers on, it should help him. Um, he wanted to take him to the front and exactly what he did and he did it. Uh, I just want to say well done to the owners, Drakenstein, um, Law Marines Racing Syndicate and to everyone back at home, well done. One more runner to go, it's a long wait for you. <laughs> Very long wait, yes. Um, got Ruby Gem in the last, taken the blinkers off her. Um, let's just hope she runs a better race than last time. Last time out, I'm sure I'll chat to Anthony about that. I see the saddle did slip. Yeah, I you know, she pulled a bit too hard with the blinkers on, that's why we've taken them off again. Um, let's just leave it up to Anthony. Well, keep up the good work, Barbara, and give our best to the boss. Uh, Dean, where is he today? Uh, he couldn't make it this today, unfortunately, but I'm sure he's watching at home. I'll give him our best. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well done, Barbara. Well done to you, Dean. Kaname, wherever you're watching, and of course, uh, Jockey Del Pes. Well, it seems to be a master stroke that paid off with the blinkers, a different horse. Yeah, we had a chat yesterday. He's, he's a very lazy horse and obviously he's looking for this trip, but he doesn't concentrate too much. So I thought, slap the blinkers on him and, and let him go to the front and, and lead. And it worked out well, you know. He's, he's a horse with a lot of problems, so well done to Dean. You could see a long way out. You were always travelling well, better than the rest of the field. Well, I, did, I couldn't see behind me. Um, I didn't put my my eyes at the back on. <laughs> you didn't have the rear view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, and uh, no, but I was always going good and yeah, he, he kept, he didn't really quicken more but he just kept finding, finding a little bit more and you know, he won a good race and you know, 
He's going to get further than this. I think this is most probably his, his shortest trip. He'll get much further than this. Yeah, he's, he's also an improvement. He's still the penny hasn't dropped. Competitive racing throughout the day. You got a few favorites that you'd ride. Anything else that you like that you can possibly point us in the right direction with? Yeah, I, did. I, lo I looked at my card and I thought uh, I've got a very competitive card. But if I had to pinpoint one, maybe maybe Duncan's Philly in the in the Philly's race 1200. But I, in that race, I'm a little bit concerned about Glenn Cotson's Philly. I think she's a very good filly. She won a very good race last time. Very competitive race. The rest of my ride uh, got each way chances. The one runner I want to ask you about is always like Perogue, who you won on. Yeah, he won a very good race when I won on him, you know. Um, he's a kind of horse, must have a chance, you know. He's not a horse that I can say to the public he'll win, but he, he'll be competitive. He's a horse that's got a very good turn of foot, and yeah, I'll enjoy riding him. Before you leave, one more. Ruby Gem at the back. The saddle slipped badly last time? Yeah, the saddle slipped and, he, and she pulled too hard and over raced. We took the blinkers off today. Got a beautiful draw. She's been drawn bad every time she ran. So she's got to be very competitive. Well, I appreciate your feedback. Nice start to the meeting. All the best for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, and to my sponsor, Aventure, well done. Well played, Anthony Delpesh. Well done, Dean Kahneman. And of course, the owners here who are Lomaran's Racing Syndicate, of course, Mrs. Kano Rupert. And Drakenstein Stud also bred this son of Trippy. He's put his act together in a big way this afternoon. Those blinkers, 11, 3, 5, and 10. That's the way they cross the line, race number one. Coming up next will be the start of the place accumulator, which is race number two at 13, 15, which is a quarter past one.